I'm a true born African. Can't you see that what I am? Legendary reggae singer Winston Jarrett, one of the last surviving artists from the early days of Jamaican music in the 1960s, is still going strong well into the 21st century. The protege of the rocksteady great Alton Ellis and other pioneers like Jimmy Cliff, Bob Marley, and Peter Tosh, Jarrett has enjoyed a long and prolific career, recording under many different names and working with numerous singing groups. His work is a living and lasting testimony to the power and inspiration of Rastafarian beliefs. KBCS 91.3 FM, streaming online, kbcs.fm. Mr. Winston Flames Jarrett is in, in the seat next to me. Welcome to KBCS. Yes, Brother Duncan, my selector. Pick up yourself. I am very happy to be here with you. People should know a little bit of your, of your background. We shouldn't let that go unsaid. You're a, you're a luminary, a veteran. Studio One, Treasure Isle. Carson and I'll, I'll work also for Lee Scratch Perry, Byron Lee, and at the same place where uh, sold out now, named Tough Gang, it was owned by uh, Ken Corey, Federal Records. Now you're ready, come to Rocksteady. Hey. You got to do this new dance just like Freddy. You got to do it just like Uncle Freddy. Now that you know. I'm gonna start from my early days, you know, with me and Alton Ellis. Yes, you know, nice. Alton and the friends, Alton Ellis. Yes. Bless him, soul him, rest in peace. But he was a good singer. And he's a man that, that really uh, well known in the, in the music industry. So my career started with Alton Ellis on the Treasure Islands, Coxon, and, and you know, a lot of people will, will uh, produce Alton Ellis and the Flames, you know. You got to do this new dance. You got to do it just like Uncle Freddy, if you don't know. Yeah! Your head, rock your body line, shake your shoulders every time and sing. Oh, 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 oh! So you continued with the flame? Yes, still burning. Right. You know, I am the flames. I am a member of the, the group, you know. Flames mean fire. So, you know, they say fire is, is, is very bad, but for, fire to me is a cleansing. You know, it's a cleansing. And anyway, you see fire burn. It's a cleansing that things can grow and more empty. Purify, purify the land. So, I, after Alton Ellis passed away, you know, I still go on. Because in the early days was Alton and the Flames. But when he migrated to England, I took up the group and said, no, we have to continue. So I formed the group and called it the Righteous Flames. So that's why people call me Flames. His name is Mr. Flames! Flames is from the 60s. 
from Studio One and Church Island. Rock steady, man. One of the father for Rock steady. So she will go on. So play him. A great little rasta, man. born in St. Anne's, Lime Tree Garden. Heard about the prodigal sons? I am the prodigal son. I wasn't that wise. And if I saw, I was living in style. And I'm gone, I hope I can. I am a rich, I hope I can. St. Anne's is where I born, but I grew up in Kingston. So mother took me to Kingston when I was about six years old. Oh mother, I wish you were around To see us and now we bouncing around Lord knows, wasn't that wild But somehow I was a living in this time Now we got a back here We got a back here We grew up in a poor family, my mother and father poor My mother died Father died, brother died I grew up among stranger but I put Ja first. So Ja is my mother and my father. I grew up in the ghetto. And I give thanks to them days, the good old days. Because in the 60s and the 70s was good. Yeah. It's better days more than now because man did more, have more love. I'm walking the streets again. The Caribbean island of Jamaica is best known as a tropical paradise and tourist destination, but is also home to crushing poverty and extreme social tensions left over from the brutal history of slavery. This has provoked varied reactions in the people of the island, from slave rebellions and gang violence to new religious movements and musical expressions. Born in the 1940s, Jarrett's generation watched Jamaica gain its independence from the British Empire and embark on a bright new day of nationhood. This is Jamaica, coming from the old school of Yasumi Banangro. Well, you know, 54 Linders Road, Kingston 5. All of them youth are in my youth with one family. So we live from the beginning without no end. Yeah. Yeah, flames, you know, you never teach you wrong, you know? Big up fire flames, you see? Real big man life place, you know? I can't crown him no bigger because him well crowned. <laughs> Yes, this yard is a yard that I've born and growing from childhood days. And it is called Jamestown. Because the man that owned it, his name is Mr. James. He passed away a couple of years ago. I was living here with my mother in the early 50s and 60s. So you have 
the good, the bad, and the ugly. <laughs> if you go up in Kingston 5, you will know what I'm talking about. <laughs>